Hey, what's up, Hawk fans of the internet? KP here from Hawk Talk TV, the Common Man Fan Show. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about last night's banner celebration that they had at the United Center in the first game of the season. Uh, it all started off with a red carpet type event with all the players entering um, out on Madison Street. And from the looks of it, there was a large crowd there waiting for them and cheering them on as they came in. And um, then the banner celebration itself inside uh, was pretty lengthy. I, I didn't expect it to be so long. It was about a half hour of um, highlights, videos, and speeches, and introductions of the entire staff of the Blackhawks, not just players or coaches, but a lot of the support staff that helps the team get through the whole season. So then Eddie O came out and talked a little bit while they unveiled the banners for the division, conference, and president's trophy winners. And those were just already hung up on the ceiling and were unrolled. Or actually, there was a banner in front that they just pulled away. And then, you know, some young hockey players who skated out on the ice and were carrying a long banner. There were about seven or eight of them. And you never really realize how wide that banner is until uh, you see it in context to little kids. I mean, like I said, it was about seven or eight of them across, so got to figure that's about 10 feet across maybe, and that's, that's pretty large. So the team skated over to them and unrolled the banner. Uh, they brought it to the corner of the ice where there was some ropes waiting, and then uh, they attached it to the banner, and it was hoisted up to the ceiling. So after all of that fanfare, there was still a game to be played, first game of the season against the Washington Capitals, and um, the Hawks came out swinging. They, uh, they played good. They looked sharp from the get-go. Uh, they got the first goal of the game. Corey Crawford looked pretty good in the net. Uh, there were a few goals let in, and it went back and forth for the next few periods until um, the third, when it was still pretty close, and um, we got an extra goal to go up 5-4, and we got that lead. And um, time was starting to wind down then with uh, just a few minutes left, and they ended up pulling their goalie, and Bickle was able to put the finalizer into the empty net. Actually, technically, he didn't really get it into the net. It missed, but um, he was pulled down by uh, one of the, the Capitals. And um, instead of awarding a penalty shot, since there was no goalie, they just gave him the goal. All in all, the Hawks looked great, and I'm happy to see that they were able to uh, get past their emotions of the celebration and were able to focus on the game itself and get the job done. Uh, all in all, I'd say it's uh, looking to be an exciting season, and um, hopefully all in all, um, all in all, I was glad to see that the Hawks were able to get past their emotions from the celebration and focus on the task at hand and um, got me excited for the hockey season to come ahead. So uh, thanks for watching this. We always love to hear any comments or suggestions so uh, feel free to write it back to us in the comments section below and of course click that subscribe button so we're over here somewhere. Yeah, Click that so that you get all of our videos in your feed. Um, all right, until next time, thanks for watching Hawk Talk TV, the Common Man Fan Show.